welcome back for another video. My name is Josh Kasich and today, well today is my non, or not non, I mean my spoiler review of Demon Slayer, the movie. Mugan, Mugen, Mugen Train? Is that, I think that's how it's pronounced. And so if you guys have not watched the film yet, you know, I don't know why you clicked on this video. Because I did say spoilers in the title, but, you know, uh, you might have clicked anyway. And, well, now that you know, I'm going to give you some time to leave the video. I'll count to 10 seconds. 1, 1,000. 2, 1,000. 3, 1,000. 4, 1,000. 5, 1,000. 6, 1,000. 7, 1,000. 8, 1,000. 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000. Okay, we are moving on, and you were warned, so if you're still here and not seen the movie, that's your fault, because I've warned you several times that there are spoilers. So essentially, this movie is that our main character, Tanjiro, with his sister, Nezuko, and his two friends that he met along this journey of killing demons... Uh, the annoying one, uh, for God's name, because he's so annoying that I really don't care about the character. Uh, if they kill him, I wouldn't care. And then, uh, the Inosuke, is, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, the guy with the boar mask, uh, so, they are sent on this mission to help one of the Hashira, which are the to uh, top Demon Slayers, uh, Rangoku. And he's a flame breather. I uh, mean, like, the whole thing, they're apparently demon, the Demon Slayers' powers come from breathing forms. And they come out in, like, powers or whatever through their sword. So it's kind of very interesting. Uh, so we know so far that Tandro first learned into water breathing uh, and then he's kind of been trained he's taken lessons from his father and kind of learned some sort of fire uh, breathing or at least that's what he's called but it's actually called flame breathing if that's what he's doing and he's doing this from his father's dance and he was going to ask the Ron Goku about this, but he had no idea about that, uh, which is kind of interesting. But they're going on this train. They're on this train because this people have been disappearing on this train, and they realized that there were uh, demons on there after being on there. So it got while they're being on there uh, on the train, this conductor, you know. Uh, looks like he's like pale, like he's dark, like something weird. But we found out a little bit more about his character later. He punctures each of their cards, everyone's cards, and then you know later demons appear up, and yeah, you get to see Ron Goku's power level compared to the rest of them, and you know we they get to defeat them, and then all of a sudden they fall asleep, and we figure out because. Uh, it's the power of the demon who's in control of this train, and he has the conductor under his control. The conductor is falling because he wants to see his family again or something, uh, put him asleep or whatever. And apparently, so he has the power, the demon has the power to put people to sleep. So you have, uh, what you called, you had the, all four of them w went to sleep, and then he has these four children uh, tie themselves up to each one of them and pairing this lot with the power of the demon this allows them to enter the their dream state and then try to cut in this dream world that everyone's in is has boundaries in the subconscious and if you rip a hole in a certain spot and try to find the spirit spirit you've killed the spirit and it, like, kills the person. Now, each person has a dream that they really don't want to leave. Like, Tanjiro, 
he's with his family, his family's still alive, and his sister's not a demon, and stuff, and then, obviously, the other ones have their dreams where, Nes like, uh, the annoying guy, I forgot his name, the one who whines, whines, which really makes it hard to watch the series. He also he does whine in the beginning, but he's barely in the rest of the film. Um, besides one point of saving Nesico with th with this guy's uh, thing is that he when he's asleep he uh, becomes like not like he becomes a lot better at fighter or whatever. It's kind of really weird. I wish he would stay in sleep mode, but. So Nezuko, um, because Ron Goku is so powerful, one of the gir one of the kids who's a girl, who I swear, the voice actor who plays her also plays Alice in Sword Art Online. She, uh, what's it called? She, um, she was going to kill, about to kill Ron Goku, but she started getting strangled because Ron Goku is so powerful that he like. He sensed her about to like kill his soul or whatever, and like cho grabbed her throat in the real world and not just in the dream, and so she couldn't do that. The other two were the other dreams. the The annoying kid was dating Nezuko, uh, as and she she was a demon, but she can like talk and all that like a normal person. That's it was kind of weird, uh, but that was that was kind of weird. And then the dream for the uh, Anosuke was that he was a char. He, he uh, Tanjiro, the annoying kid, and Nezuko are his underlings, and they're like animals, small animals, and they're, they're going to be try to battle the train, which is like some type of creature, which is actually a hint to future in the story. Uh, but Nezuko gets out of the box and actually uh, uses her powers to try to get wake up uh, Tanjiro and Tanjiro gets finally realizes it and you know his family begs him not to leave but he goes and he's the first one to actually wake up from the dream and realize that because his rope was burned and then he asked Nezuko to burn the other ones releasing everyone else and then the four children were going to kill Tanjiro or three of them were going to kill Tanjiro because sorry about that uh, something happened but, uh, where was I? Yeah, so, uh, he, the three of them were going to kill him, but the fourth guy wasn't, because the fourth guy was actually connected to Tanjiro, and, uh, Tanjiro, and saw that his soul was, like, so pure that, uh, he, he couldn't, he, like, it totally changed him. Uh, eventually the, the other three people get knocked out, and... Uh, then uh, Tandro goes after the demon, he senses it, goes on top of the train, and actually tries to battle the guy, and he try the guy tries to put, the demon tries to uh, put him to sleep, but he realizes by waking up, uh, I forgot one part, he woke up, not because of Nezuko, uh, he realized that the only way to wake him up is by killing himself in the dream, and that's how he wakes up, I forgot about that point, but yeah, he, you know, he, Keeps going to sleep, but he realizes the trick of killing him, and then eventually bow gets close to the demon, and then takes off his head. But we finally, uh, then we realize that the demon is actually the train, and not this was just a the the body he's seeing is just a uh, how we put it. You know, like how like in event in Guardians of the Galaxy, you have ego. Like ego is actually the planet, and then you have the little, the human form, you know, is just a, it, it's kind of like that concept, I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but it, it's like that concept or whatever, and then, he, the, you know, he's taken over the train, and he's, he was going to devour everyone in the train, and then with the help of everyone, including Nezuko, uh, they were able to, uh, they're able to stop all of them, and Ron, uh, uh, Ron Goku makes a plan for uh, Anosuke and Tanjiro to go after, try to find the head, and they figure that the head was is in the n near the engine or, or part of the engine, or they found that the neck bone 
is kind of in the beginning parts of the engine part. Uh, the they the um, conductor or whatever the person you know drive you know like you know uh, you know controlling the train. He tries to stop them or whatever, and, and they in a long battle of the demon trying to protect himself, but eventually they were able to cut the neck off and they stopped the train and everything and then the demon dies uh but in the also the process the one the uh conductor did get to stab uh Tanjiro with a needle thing uh which was pretty bad but uh that wasn't it was a really tough battle but they were able to win and then the second part of the film was pointless all right so you had a upper third demon come in for no apparent reason and there was a long out battle between him and Ron Goku. And Ron Goku, he does his power up move to try to kill him, but it just ends anticlimactic. And Ron Goku gets stabbed in the chest with the demon's thing. And then, but the guys, uh, he, Ron Goku, still with a lot of power, tries to cut off his head. And then Tanjiro and Anosuke were going to go help him. And. But the demon, the sun was coming out. We thought the demon was going to die. Then he escapes. Uh, the demon actually breaks out. It just rips off his hands or whatever. And goes away. And, and then Tundra throws his sword at the demon or whatever in the chest. But he still ends up going away. Ron Goku dies. And then the rest of the film, they're, they're, all three of them are crying. Uh, Ron Goku talks to Tanjiro. Uh, and, you know, about, uh, about, you know, the, uh, you know, tell him his strength and, you know, move on besides, uh, in spite of his death and, you know, go to my family and maybe learn some of the flame, beam, read some of the flame scripts, maybe the dances in there and, uh, and all that and Ron Goku dies and they're all crying and then the rest of the film is... Everyone finding out that Ron Goku dies with their crows. And then the movie uh, ends. And I'm like, I really, I didn't enjoy the film. But it should have stopped after they defeated the first demon. The, the third demon, it just there was no reason for that plot point. It just came out of nowhere. It wasn't even about the train anymore. So it kind of depletes the purpose of the film. Because the, all the film is supposed to be about that train. All this sequence was. Is setting up like the next season. And killing off Ron Goku. For whatever reason. Uh, and that part of the section. Is just. Bad. Like the film could have been so much better. If they just didn't have that section in the film. They should have cut it out. Or something, because it just, or save it, because it really felt like it could have been an episode later or something. I don't know, but it was really unnecessary. And, you know, I, I think, I still give it, like, you know, what, did I give it like an 8 out of 10? I, I give it out an 8 out of 10 because I still think that it was really good. Uh, besides the last sequence, the artwork was amazing. And, you know, it, it was... Without that sequence, it was still really good, you know, and like I said, I give it out a hand of 10. And that's pretty much all my thoughts of the movie, you know, the entire breakdown there. And there's nothing else I could really uh, say. Uh, the one annoying kid, he was still annoying, but only at the beginning. And we did get to see his sleep form, so, you know, he did get something in the film, you know. He didn't really get, like, a big part in the film, but, and Nezuko, she didn't get a bigger part either, but, uh, she, she was good as always, uh, but, and Ron Goku was so good, like, his power, man, it, it sucks that they just killed him, like, I just, like, I just don't, I, I just, I guess they had to have the movie have some type of stake, but, it was really unnecessary in my opinion but other than that like i said i really enjoyed the film i do recommend you guys go watch it if you uh watching it i mean obviously i'm hoping that if people are still on here after uh 
spoil even though I warned them of spoilers, if you still want to see the movie, you know, you just got spoiled, definitely go watch the film. And for those who did see the uh, film, please write down in the comment section what your thoughts of the film was. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did. And if you are new, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're not for my next upload. My YouTube channel website link, my Twitter, my Snapchat, Instagram are all in the description as always. And thank you. Goodbye.